Hi, my name is Greg Fell. I'm Director of Public Health for Sheffield. Um, this is a uh, Situation in Epidemiology report dated the 25th of October, um, a half-term update. Firstly then, epidemiology. Um, uh, going up everywhere slowly, I guess, is the short, uh, a short, question, a short answer to the question. Probably at a cruising altitude of about 400 to 420,000 cases per 100,000 over seven days. Um, mostly in secondary school age, but by no means all. Um, some say the rate of increase is settling. I think that's a very, very, very optimistic uh, interpretation, and I don't subscribe to it. I think it will go up for a good bit longer yet, actually. Um, hope I'm wrong on that one. Almost all children. Um, so almost all of our cases, secondary school age children, um, not all by, by a stretch, but the but significant majority are almost all children. Um, and, and I guess expected, the, mit the mixing pattern is as per the pre-pandemic and not a very well vaccinated group yet. That's changing. We're going as fast as we can on that one. Um, um, certainly not seeing a, a fall in the case rate in children. There are still plenty of susceptible children out there. So it's important that when um, you get your opportunity to be vaccinated, then, that, that, then you take that up some upward age transmission into parent age and a little bit of, of sta sta stacking upwards further. Um, so a, a gentle rise um, and waning immunity is the other watchword of the week. Um, so um, the, the, the rise in older adults is the time between now and when people had their vaccination. So some people now had their vaccination 10 months ago. Um, and whilst the effectiveness of the vaccine has played out in a way hugely more positive than I'd dared hope for, um, waning immunity is actually playing out more negatively than, than I had hoped for as well. So, um, so you know, we while seeing waning immunity uh, and the over 60s, uh, that, that translates into infections and it will also translate into some uh, some severe illness sadly so the the you know the over 60s now are the highest rates since january and as i say waning immunity is a concern in that one any decent immunity in middle age and younger adults because again because the time from when they were vaccinated and not yet and not and not as of yet much immunity in school aged children um numbers in hospitals are beginning to tick up slowly um even a modest rise will have a disproportionate impact i guess you could say the nhs and social care is is in a is is in the depths of winter phase but in the end, end of October. So lots of respiratory stuff hitting emergency departments pretty hard now. Um, not COVID, actually, and not flu. It's all the things, respiratory syncytial virus, parainfluenza. Para those things are hitting, actually, and, and that's a surprise. Um, so we're expecting continued pressure on N NHS and social care um, for some time to come, actually. And obviously, we're not yet in flu season. Flu will exacerbate that. Message to all, get your flu jab. Um, because that does make a difference. Um, so um, most of the hospitalizations are in the most clinically vulnerable um, and a significant number of hospitalizations for COVID are in the, 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 the non-vaccinated. So message, if you haven't yet been vaccinated, please do so. Um, lots ask me, um, will Christmas be cancelled? Too early to tell. Way, 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 way too early to tell. Um, but the situation is blackening a little bit, actually, and, uh, and, and I think will blacken for, for some time to come. So then on to the second bit. Why is this going on? Um, in short, immunity. In, in 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 the large waning immunity we started our vaccination program much 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 earlier than lots of the rest of europe and waning immunity is 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 a uh, is is a thing um probably more likely to um explain what's going on more so than other things though other things are also in the mix masks is definitely in the mix more indoor mixing more large gatherings are in the in, in the mix but 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 waning immunity is is the uh, is perhaps the thing to watch most for um all that said the proportion of people never never wearing masks has rocketed in the uk stays low everywhere else um in, we've largely stopped wearing masks masks have made a difference i still wear mine i hope lots of other people do but i know lots don't um so they have made a difference um and large gatherings uh, again um have, 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 have been an issue um uh, and is contributing to contributing to transmission um, and some broadly the mood music is it's all it's all okay people thus behave as if it's all over it's definitely not over um ask anyone who works in nhs and social care settings they will tell you it is 
not all over. Case rates are really high. Um, uh, serious illness is, is way higher than we would want it to be. Um, and that is uh, going to create a very, very difficult autumn and winter for lots and lots of people. Um, so those are the principal reasons why this is going on. Um, uh, and there are plenty of uh, erudite explanations on social media. The best one I saw recently was a John Byrne Murdoch uh, series, of th- series of tweets um, uh, explaining the why this is happening. Plan B. Um, everyone's asking me, when will Plan B be implemented? Um, I don't know. Um, it's not my call. It's the Prime Minister's call um, as if and when to implement Plan B. Um, uh, it probably more likely than not, but that's me guessing. I genuinely don't know. Um, um, plan B is a strategic document, a rather light on tactical detail. Um, uh, if nothing else, it's a significant way of shifting the narrative. The bottom line is COVID isn't over. Um, uh, we all want it to be over, but but it's not over. We do want to get back to normal, me included. Um, but 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 COVID is still out there, as as uh, as many of us know. Um, I my my sense is it's a matter of time, but I don't know. I genuinely don't know the when. Um, what we'll be aiming for is to sort of shift public behaviour so that R remember the rate of growth of something. Um, uh, if it's currently it's, it's above one, and we need to get it to, to back below one. Um, and there's a pretty large level of residual immunity, so I think there's not going to be a spike upwards but equally there's the the the, the getting our below one will be coming from a very high rate to something much lower probably over a long period of time um what measures will be in plan b again guess but if i had to guess i would say face mask face mask use um uh, um, and we would encourage everybody to wear a face mask in enclosed indoor public spaces by itself it isn't going to be the thing that makes a difference but it will make a difference but it won't be the thing um so uh, but but uh, encourage all to wear face masks in enclosed public spaces um, um, the, probably the thing that will have the biggest Im- impact is reducing contact. Um, if you can work from home, do work from home. Except there are lots of people who can't work from home. But if you can do, and that's that reduces reduces contact. A uh, contact. Um, vaccination passports may or may not be in, and I genuinely genuinely don't know that current 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 government view as is I understand again vaccine passports um they w- don't know wh- wh- where we'll go on that one but the the most important thing um is uh continuing to get vaccination as I say the thing that worries me most is waning immunity um and uh, in, in priority order um if you haven't yet had dose one or two then that's by far the most important thing and uh, booster jabs as and when you're invited and we're going through that one as quickly as we can would be the would be the uh, the, the the second trigger so then on finally, the what can we do, um, um, whether or not we avoid plan B um, is in our own hands, actually. There's plenty that we can do, masks, boosters, vaccination programs, etc. So there's plenty that we can do, um, but we all need to do it. Um, just just me doing me wearing a mask in a pl- public space is not going to make the difference epidemiologically clearly. Um, so um, something about everyone do, do everyone everyone does their bit. Um, 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 so uh, waning immunity, as I say, in the particularly in the elderly and or those that were vaccinated first, um, it is a worry. So, so be careful. Um, uh, um, if you are in in one of those uh, in one of those age groups, um, if you haven't yet had dose one and two, it's one never too late, and two I would encourage you strongly to reconsider your choice in that space. Um, flu jabs will make a difference. It remains to be seen how much of a difference, but every year flu jabs always make a difference, and I'd encourage everyone to get a flu jab. Wearing masks indoors has never been a bad thing. We've all stopped doing it. Um, uh, you look around in any public place and there's less than 10% of people wearing a mask these days. So it's never been a bad thing. And I encourage you all to do it um, and work from home if you can. Reduce your contacts with other people. Every contact is a potential opportunity for a virus to spread. That's how viruses spread through populations. So um, reduce contacts as and where possible. All of the usual stuff is still in play. You've heard me drone on about it again and again and again. If you have symptoms, stay at home, take a test, act accordingly on the results of the test. That's the most important thing by miles and miles and miles. Hand hygiene has made a massive difference. Um, it isn't by the thing by itself that's the panacea, but but it does make a difference. Um, it, but ventilation indoors, open the doors, open the windows. Um, uh, all of those things make a difference. It gets a bit harder as it gets a bit colder, but the, you know, the basics remain the basics, the basics of transmission. Um, um, lastly, and I'll reinforce the point again, boosters, it's, I can't stress how important enough, uh, how important it is 
that you have your booster as and when you're invited. And we're working through that in the same order as we worked through the initial vaccination program all those all those months ago now. Um, I can't underscore how important that is. And that will be one of the things that makes a difference into the coming autumn and winter.